Hey, this is Brad from Southland Hunters. Uh, today's video will be of a seven pointer that we were fortunate enough to take with our Raven crossbow uh, during archery season here in Eastern North Carolina. We were hunting in a little town called Scotland Neck, which is in Halifax County. Uh, we were hunting a power line on that particular day and this seven pointer was chasing a doe and came out and gave us a shot. We shot a little back. We ended up having to go in the next day to find him. Uh, we let him have the night to expire and uh, go in peace. And we got in the next morning and got in the swamp and tracked him down and hauled him out. So that's what this is, and I hope you enjoy. The first thing I saw that afternoon were a few does, a few good does, uh, over on the neighbor's property at their feeder. There's actually a swamp between us and where those deer are. And uh, they were on that side for a little while, and then they eventually came over on our side. Then we had a little five-pointer pop out. He grazed for a little while out on the uh, on the flat. Had a little three-pointer come up. He approached the stand. He was actually one of the first deer to come out uh, before that seven-pointer showed his face. He came out with a couple of does, and there's a real small phone, especially for the end of September. Um, it It's coming out right now, and... Uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of spots and it's awful little uh, for an end of September deer. This just shows what a swing you have in the rut in the state of North Carolina. We've got other phones that have already lost all their spots. Uh, that's the three pointer again. You can see some does in the background. A little phone again. They uh, they worked back and forth across the power line uh, all afternoon that afternoon, and the seven pointer actually was chasing does in and out of the woods back and forth. And uh, this is him here. This is one of his many trips in and out of the woods before he finally got in range. This was probably 120, 125 yards out. As you'll see, there's a, there's a doe. That's about 70 yards. Uh, I ranged her there. He had been dogging that doe pretty good in and out of the woods, and uh, I figured it wouldn't be long before he showed up, and you'll see her tear off here in a minute. At this point, I'm expecting him to re-emerge from the woods. That's That was kind of his M.O. that whole afternoon was in and out of the woods after that doe. Uh, about the four minute and 15 second mark in the video here, you'll see him start out of the woods. And uh, I couldn't ask for a better broadside shot uh, than what he gave me. And he should emerge here in just a second. There he comes. The swamp is right there in the bottom of the video. Uh, that It's a big bowl that wraps around the uh, farm there. And we're out on the power line. Again, perfect broadside shot. You could hear the impact of the bolt smacking him right there. It's 
So this is what happens when you shoot them and they run down in the swamp. Shot this seven pointer last night. Had to let him lay, come back and get him this morning. Had to quarter him in the field. Got him in the bag there. Wasn't any way to pull him out of the woods. He was just too big, too heavy, and was sinking up to my knees in the boots. So this is how we got him out. <laughs> 